Good morning and happy Monday. Well, for today, we are going to have scattered areas of rain and snow. It's also going to be the warmest day of the work week. We are going to see those temperatures starting to drop, and we're also going to see multiple disturbances working their way into our area as we head throughout this work week. Taking a look at those current temperatures this morning, we are in the 20s and low to mid 30s in most locations. Still a bit mild before those temperatures drop. Now, we did have some overnight precipitation. A lot of it started yesterday evening in portions of central and north central Montana and then continues to push its way east this morning and more precipitation is on the way not only for today but for multiple days throughout this work week as uh, active weather is going to be in our viewing area from the Pacific. Now for today, we are going to have some mostly cloudy skies. That precipitation over portions of eastern Montana is still kind of working its way out through this morning. A lot more precipitation is coming into western and central Montana today with some scattered rain and snow showers. Going to see some of that precipitation in portions of north central Montana as well. That's going to continue into early on Tuesday morning. Then we are going to see another disturbance on Tuesday coming down from Canada accompanied with a cold front. So we are going to see some more scattered snow showers and colder temperatures coming into our viewing area. Now, as far as precipitation totals go, this is through Wednesday evening. Now, we are going to see a coating to around five inches of snowfall in the lower elevations for central and north central Montana. Of course, as you get higher in elevation, those totals can go up. You can see that here around that Rocky Mountain front and in the mountains of central Montana. Now we do have winter weather advisories in effect because of all this precipitation for the lower Clark Forth area in western Montana, one to three inches through this eve or through this afternoon. For the Glacier National Park area, this is going to be in effect until 5 a.m. on Tuesday, where one to five inches is going to be uh, possible in the lower elevation. And similar for mountains in central Montana as well through Tuesday, where we can get one to three inches in the lower elevations. And then as we go up in elevation again, we can get higher totals for central Montana, anywhere from five to ten inches inches of snow above pass level. A bit of a breeze already starting out for us here in central Montana and along that Rocky Mountain front continues today with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Can see those gusts at times up to 40 miles an hour for us here in central Montana and then that's going to be tapering off heading east as we go throughout the day. High temperatures today again going to be the warmest day of this work week in the mid to upper 30s and low 40s. Overnight tonight temperatures are going to be a bit chilly in the teens and 20s and then colder temperatures expected for tomorrow in the 20s and low 30s in most locations. Take a look at that Great Falls 3 to 7 day. 41s are high today. You can really see that drastic temperature change as you head into Thursday. It's going to be 17 for our high. Changes as snow showers continue throughout the rest of this work week, but we do see a bit more sunshine and drier conditions as we hit Friday and the weekend.